All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another WrestleMania review, but this time for night two. We got the the big three, the Death Triangle, as you can call it. <laughs> of course, your boy Rashane, your boy Nathan, your boy Clinton. How are we doing today, guys? Doing good. I'm, good. I think we're all a little tired. It's been a long weekend. Watched long a lot weekend. of wrestling. Oh, yeah. yeah. Recorded some podcasts. So, this is oh, it. Oh, yeah. We got the night one out there for those who are going to be watching this. Hopefully, Tuesday night at the latest. But, either way. Yeah. Oh, man. First things first. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am not here with a regular belt today. You know why? Because the regular belt was meant for my tribal chief. And this belt is for the man who, I don't even want to say it, so I'm going to let y'all say it, but yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Uh, it is what it is. We'll cover that later. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> y'all saw, the, y saw the, the prediction I gave? Turns out I was incorrect. He's a little salty about it. Yeah. A little salty. Just some of us had better WrestleMania weekends than others. Yeah. So let's put it that way. Today's been <laughs> sun shining. Today's been a good day. Yeah, the eclipse. So day. We're eclipse. out checking out the eclipse you know. today. Beauty day. Cody's waking up nice. We're here to Happy. recap. Yes, Cody night Rhodes two. is That's your right. undisputed we just don't here. We don't Universal Champion. We'll get there. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Right. Sorry, fans. You're gonna have to tune in till later to get. We'll the get them hot. We'll get them yeah. hot. Let's I'll see. talk we're, about your match. The times. pot's boiling and the lid's about to come off. We're gonna get it that. Let's right. just you know. get into the show. Yeah. Start off with the Let's first match, which was a very nice match to start off with. Sure. Yeah. You know, I wasn't able to get here in time to watch it, but I did end up watching it when I got home, and uh, it was Seth versus Drew, and. Yeah, great way to open the match. I mean, open the show. Obviously, went the way I told everybody it would. Drew McIntyre for the win. And, I mean, that's all, right? I mean, that's all that happened. Well, Drew McIntyre won. And, uh, yeah. In the match, yeah, that's what yeah, yeah, it was all overall. Seth was worn out. Drew just took advantage of that for sure. Oh, took yeah. his knee down. Put Seth down for a bit. You know, he had a good run as well, but Drew... Oh, know, yeah, so shout out guys, to Seth Rollins, yeah. for real. Cause Seth like, Rollins had a good run, everybody, so we got to have a As the inaugural champion, yeah. you set quite the president, my friend. Yeah. Drew McIntyre made him quick, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy work out of him. But, yes, then, no, I'm joking. That's not all that yeah, happened, folks. He had a bit of an ego afterwards, so... Drew had a problem with a man we don't really like to talk about. But he who wrestling. must not be oh, named. We can talk yeah. about it. We got a problem with him, too. Yeah, we have a real problem with him, too. And I understand why Drew had to talk to him. Because mm -hmm. I would, too, with the belt in my face. But. And I would just hit him with the suck. The only thing that I wasn't shocked about, either, was a rat's a rat. And the slew foot from CM Punk to Drew was the whole reason why he lost that title. That yeah. Night. Yep. He took advantage of that, slew footed him, hit his head off the table, fell onto the floor, then the guy took off his arm brace, which then we all thought the man's arm has been hurt, so you can't be using that as a weapon. Goes and takes that and uses it as a weapon. All of a sudden, Drew's really concussed. Yep. And then this guy comes out of nowhere to challenge. Mr. Senior Money in the Bank. So what's your take on that? How do you feel about that, Rashane? This guy coming down. I, I like it. I didn't expect it, obviously. It was not something I predicted happening. I assumed Drew would have a longer title reign, especially if you are going to give him his moment, but I will go into my theory on that in a couple minutes. What I will say is shout out to you, Mr. Money in the Bank. You weren't stupid like the last owner. <laughs> you actually cashed in and became champion. You are not Austin Theory. Who cashed it in on a U.S. championship? No, you became world champion and at WrestleMania. So you know, love it. Judgment Day now has both world heavyweight championships and the yeah. men and the female. <clears throat> and on top of that, I mean that means Judgment Day's story will be continuing. So we'll see how that goes. 
What I will say is, and this is my prediction for Drew, I feel like they did this because clearly they still want to do the punk Drew rivalry, but I don't think punk is healthy, even with that attack. So this gives Drew a chance to continue a program whilst Punk gets healed, a.k.a. try to get his championship back. And honestly, Clash of the Castle coming up soon, that's probably what it'll be. That'll be the rematch, and we'll see. I mean, either way, big WrestleMania moment. I certainly pop for it. Yeah. So. Fun way to start the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, the last time that a cash-in was done at WrestleMania was with Seth Rollins. So, the irony of Rollins kind of being involved is, like... Yeah, true. Yeah, it's kind of that full circles type vibe, but... Yeah, there's yeah. your long-term story time. Here you go. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, it is what it is. Like I said, Damien Priest, shout-out to you. New World Heavyweight Champion. And, uh... Yeah, good way to open the show. We're going to move on to the next match that happened. And uh, I'll let you take the lead on that. Well, we had a tag team street fight in the second match of the night, which is another great way to keep the momentum going at the start of your show. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we had Bobby Lashley and his crew. Called the Pride. Yeah, I don't know about Pride. the name. It's a weird name. Yeah, and versus the Final Testament. Not, not much, any better of a not name much better, either. Yeah, but, I mean, <laughs> there's some good wrestlers in that group, so. Oh, yeah, exactly. There is that, right? But oh, yeah. It was a good match. Like, like Snoop Dogg was out on the commentary, which. Oh, that was I, the highlight of the whole show. We need to talk show. about that. I'll pay an extra 15 bucks every year if I can get him to be <clears throat> commentator on one of the feeds. Yep. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, he's the best at that. He's always been good at everything he does. Like, EA has him in the hockey games, and they have him in Call of Duty. They have him in, you name it, he's done it. Oh, Planet Earth, right? Like, yeah. And he always kills like, it. Like, cash in on Snoop, stuff. ladies and yeah, gentlemen. Exactly. Everyone loves Snoop. He was killing it. He was killing it on commentary, all the weapon shots and stuff. He was oh, all yeah. in on it. It was a good match. Yeah, they roughed each other up, and Lashley's crew wins that match, and... There wasn't much to report. The Not only much. thing really was uh, Bubble Ray was uh, the surprise guest referee for the match. And so, of course, wasn't you had it? your typical uh, Dudley Boy spots with the the split leg uh, headbutt to the groin and the whole, get the tables! Yeah, and all that shit. And so, the first table broke. I mean, it was, was it, it was what it was as... Y'all saw in the last video, we all predicted that outcome, and yeah, shout out to the Street Profits, getting the WrestleMania win. Where do they go from here? I mean, they're on Raw, and uh, hopefully after the bullshit that happened with Awesome Truth being the Raw Tag Team Champions, that ends quickly. Give it to the Street Profits, please. All I ask. He's asking politely too. I'm not being. In that. I'm not gonna swear. Yeah. I'm just saying, get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Do something, it. Triple H. Do something. Well, Call it a new era. He on. gave it to two old heads. Come on, Paul. It's not a new era. Come on. Come on but anyways, Paul. we'll. It's not here nor there. The match was cool. Yeah. A nice little continuation, like you said, and uh, yeah, let's just keep it going. You know. Yeah. La yeah. night. Versus AJ Styles. Yeah. 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 Slim, Slim Jim. I did oh, like Oh, yeah. The intro. Mr. Slim Jim. The intro really was nice. pretty sweet. We have to give him that. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Pulling up in the, the car. Like if, uh, Slim Jim ever wants to contact us and have us ride around that car and throw some. Yeah, I can drive that thing. Slim Jim's at some people. I I'll be oh, yeah, we'll happy to get you on the we'll show. Slim Jim. Slim Jim's Sponsor right, the show. Sure. We'll get your ads out of here. All the sweet, right. Nice little advertisement. Could get some shirts. Wear Think some about Slim it. Shirts. Sponsored by it. Slim Jim. Yeah. 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 Let's think but, about that. But anyways, we'll match was a nice now. little uh nice little uh filler match, not gonna lie. It was our it was our bathroom bake. No disrespect to the men, but at the end of the day there wasn't much to report and the match was pretty obvious. Yeah. LA Knight's very hot right now and it being his first WrestleMania, you weren't gonna have him lose. WWE knows what they're doing when it comes to striking while the iron's hot. 
they chose the hot guy. Yeah. And that's pr- the only other thing is AJ debuted a new theme song, so that was cool. Like the theme song. True. Yeah. But other than that, yeah, like match went as you expected. Bunch of near falls, counters, crowd pop for LA Knight. Well, they had a bit of a uh, disgruntled uh, fight at the uh, media scrum in uh, WrestleMania just beforehand on the Saturday oh. night. Oh, yeah. Whatever they went to the press. Yeah, both of them. Because uh, LA Knight gave AJ Styles a bloody nose. Yep. So they both were going at it. Oh, yeah. So obviously, they were heated up coming up to this match, but it's nice to have it over with for sure. What I will say it's is, no, WWE uh, might not actually be over. True. It could be something where... LA Knight went and won't settle or won't sit well with AJ and he'll try and continue to feud. And True. It is what it is. I just I, w- I want more for both of those men. I mean AJ Styles is the phenomenal one for a reason. He should be competing for championships and the fact that neither of these men were doing that just feels like a waste of opportunity for both but is we'll see what the new era holds for you both of them and uh yeah i mean anything else y'all want to say or not to that i just thought the it was a pretty cool match you got i mean i thought it was a good match and i was just loving the intro more than anything i think that was uh, i mean oh that's what I mean. i'm hyping it up a lot but i mean it was just brought me back to the old school wrestling days slim jim used to have the big macho man ads you'd go into corner stores and they'd have like the cardboard cut out macho man drive throwing a slim jim in your face you know what i mean so that was cool they just kind of brought that back and oh yeah so i got i appreciate that and other than that not much to report like we said there but it's time for a segment oh yes <sighs> ladies and gentlemen you did our favorite Kiss segment year, well it's gotta be a wwe guy when we do yeah. yeah we're just gonna cool uh, yeah, we'll do. We're gonna do Jericho then. Game maker. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is that feature. You just have to speak up. You don't have a figure segment of the day. But it'll hear you if you speak up. Oh yeah, we'll still be able to hear it. All right. Ooh, got it. Good catch. All right, folks. Here is the feature figure of the week. Which almost doesn't wasn't the feature figure of the week, but we've got Chris Jericho. And yeah, that's right. It's yeah. a pain maker. Pretty rare find right here. You know, these are pretty hard to get. You can't ever get these just in store, online. Good luck. The more you wait, the longer it takes, the harder it is to find your fate. But anyways, I like this one. This one's coming from the Series 8. And it's uh, just coming from a dynamite match in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And speaking of Philadelphia, that's where the WrestleMania was. So, look at the odds of that. But I just like this uh, action figure because of the detail of the face paint. Jericho doesn't really come out much of face paint, and uh, that was a pretty cool special match it's to the watch. Pain maker. But he's the pain maker. And then you got the back as well. He's not the pain maker in the back, but he's also just doing the walls of Jericho. Nice. Alright, that's the future. Can you get him back out there safely? Yeah. While you were gone, someone else showed up and stole your spot. Oh, yeah? Oh, shit. Oh, Fuck. Hit man, hit man, all right? Hit man. Look out for this guy. <laughs> Holy. Little hit man. Little hit man. <laughs> yeah. I had the hit man on the show yesterday, but now the big one. Oh, yeah. See, we got him chilling there. Yeah, he's good. Oh, yeah. yeah but, yes, yeah, so back to our uh, little WrestleMania review here. And uh, on to the next match that we had going on, and that was the triple threat for the U.S. Championship with the champion Logan Paul, the Viper Randy Orton, and Mr. K.O. Mania himself, Mr. Kevin Owens. And the match was really interesting. The entrances, first off, Logan came out in a big-ass truck that had a big-ass Prime bottle. Shout out to Prime. Yeah. Shout out to Prime. We love Prime over here. <laughs> I mean, hey, you want to give us a sponsorship? Or at least a case. Or make us like a featured Prime something. We'll do it, whatever. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, his entrance was cool, as always. Came out with his uh, Prime mascot, who uh, 
turns out had a secret identity that we'll reveal soon and uh yeah KO came out in his own little like KO cart yeah and went down the ring and then when Randy was gonna do his entrance he went back up and was like hey let me drive you down buddy <laughs> so they went down the ring and even early on in the match you could tell the vibe was oh they were basically there to beat up on Logan until it came to them trying to pin at the same time, and then they were like, oh, so I guess this is a ball in the match where we're going to hit mm -hmm. each other. So that happened. They attacked each other. Match continues. Eventually, it leads to a point where Logan Paul is about to get punted by Randy, and he gets pulled out the ring by his prime mascot, who turns out to be the streamer, for those who don't know, I Show Speed. And, uh... Yeah, guy was a guy's a weirdo in general, and he was acting weird here. He barked at the man, fucking said back the fuck off me. Yeah, and it didn't bleep it, which I fucking love that shit. That was funny as hell. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. And then next thing you know, gets kicked like uh, if you ever seen three hundred, the Sparta kick into yeah. the hole. Yeah, that. Randy kicked the shit out of this man. There's a nice front kick to the man. Threw, the, threw stuff off the table. I was like, yeah, man, you're getting RKO'd. And just before he does it, I barked at him too, which was funny. Hit him with the RKO. Really nice sell by Speed, by the way. Because not a lot of people sold the RKO well. And like, he sold the shit out of that. I was like, god damn. Yeah. That boy took that hit. <laughs> but after that, the match continued. And, uh... The finish came when uh, KO was trying to hit a pop-up powerbomb, which Randy turned into a pop-up RKO, which that was really cool. But then Logan Paul, being the smart champion that he is, and what we predicted, he took advantage of those two fighting, threw uh, Randy out the ring after the RKO, hit his frog splash for the win, and uh, he's still your U.S. champion. Yeah, still. Got to do his pose and show off his prime sponsorship in the middle of the ring there. Oh, yeah. Gave it a nice little yeah. kiss. Yeah. They gave him the overhead picture moment there, too. Yeah. So, you know, money well spent there, bud. Oh, yeah. And it's uh, an expensive picture, but you got it. Oh, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> and at the end of the day, he's... What's funny for all the championship matches that happened, he was, spoiler alert, the only one that retained... The night too. Yeah. Well, you can't have a guy losing while he has prime on the middle of the yeah, ring. I mean, gonna, that's fair. He paid mm -hmm. for that win. So I mean, it'll just just a question of uh, who'll be after him next. Which I can't even I can't tell you much after WrestleMania in general, but I can say that he's a dickhead. That's his character. So there's a lot of baby faces, especially in this current era of wrestle in the WWE. So. Nice he will have a lot of challengers, and uh, sky's the limit. I mean, for a guy who's only really been, like, doing this properly now for, like, a year to be where he's at, like, actually in ring, it's like, I look at him as a wrestler now. Like, I know he's yeah. an influencer, but I'm like, yeah, I give him, I'll give Logan his flowers. Yeah, to me, I'm a, like, yeah, you're a wrestler, dude. You can wrestle, yeah. You yeah. can wrestle, sir. Shout out to you. Yeah, he's your winner tonight. And uh, yeah, I went on a little uh, run there, so I'm going to pass on this next <laughs> match to these two over here. Oh, it's okay to go on a run. But yeah, we're going to go on to Bailey versus EO Sky. Uh, Bailey won the Royal Rumble to get this match. This is her WrestleMania moment. EO has been the champion for a little bit. Um, I wasn't sure what to think of this one. I think I said Io was going to win this one. Yeah. No, and uh, I still think, you know, she should have won. But tonight, Bailey's your winner. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they had a good match. Like, there were some pretty cool spots in it. They did some pretty cool moves. I They're, mean, all things considered, Io. I assumed her group damage control, considering their heels were going to get involved. Mm -hmm. But it was a clean match, no interference, clean finish. And uh, if that's the case, I have to assume that this is the end of that 
little scenario then. I mm. guess Bailey's going to go on, probably have a new challenger, and uh, we'll see what's going to go happen with EO. If the rumors that I heard are true, they're bringing the women finally a mid-card title, so mm. maybe that's something that you give to EO as a former champion. Who knows? But Yeah, maybe. I I like EO. I she always has like pretty cool moves in a match. She's always fun to watch. Oh yeah. I want her to win, but I mean, someone's got to lose. And exactly. Kind of what exactly. Do you think? But yeah, overall, friends. for myself, I'm not. I'm, you know, I don't know the intel on too much of these wrestlers, that much for what they've all done this year leading up to this match. But watching the match, it was still a good match for the ladies' division. Um, I just feel that. Uh, so, how do you pronounce her name again? Is it Io? Io Sky. Io Sky is her name there. Io Sky, watching her, I feel like she is a very good wrestler, and I think she deserved to have the belt, and where she was at, you know, didn't see any you know weaknesses there on that part, but having Bailey win, it's just one of those she's had it before. I feel like she'll just be just fine, and someone else will be ready to take it from her, hopefully, in the near future, but... Um, when you have like that kind of gold around you, you know you, it, tr- it attracts a lot of attention in the wild. When you've got Beast walking around like Jade Brand, and, exactly. Uh, you don't want a girl like Jade Cargill, you know, checking you out and eyeing up that gold around your waist because she likes to take things like that and wear that around the ring too. So, if you want to flaunt your stuff, Bailey, just a heads up: there's women like Jade Cargill in the roster now that are going to be possibly chatting you up and especially and now that Jade is specifically SmackDown and she just won the SmackDown Women's Championship saying, so man. it's right in itself oh, the story's gotta, being there gotta watch Bailey what you control, yeah. gotta watch what you yeah what you like to flaunt around yeah, yeah smile well, and enjoy it now go have pictures. a good yeah have a weekend with it take the pictures yeah. enjoy but yourself like, I don't, don't be expected a yeah. long term championship run just like, don't, eat, don't expect like, defending like, that easily Exactly. You have a lot of challengers. That's the one thing that's nice about the women's division in general. They have a lot of like top to the top name women that could be champion, like justifiably so. So it's like, hey, mm-hmm. you gotta love to see it. Yeah. Tony Khan, take some notes. I know you're only improving it now, but come on, dude. We believe in the women's division in AEW. Not that we're going down that road. But yeah. <laughs> and anyways, right. now the main event. Yeah. The match that we were all looking forward pot's to. pot's boiling. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. the, the... Fucking hell. Sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm just trying... Show ladies me, and gentlemen, I'm belt. trying Get the belt to belt. give you my explanation of how I'm feeling. And all I can say is I watched this title reign from the beginning from when they had the fucking pandemic arena where it was just fucking the screen and, and everybody facetiming to watch the show they didn't have anyone at the uh, they had no audience members there it was such a dark time nobody knew what was going to go on in wrestling and Roman came and he took that universal championship and he Made Jay Uso to main event Jay Uso, and he made Jimmy and Jay the best uh, undisputed tag team champions, longest reigning tag team champions. Did so much. He brings it solo. Everything he did, all for it to end, to goddamn Cody Rhodes. Do yeah. I do I like that? No, clearly I don't. That's not a surprise here. <laughs> God. But will I give Cody his flowers? Yes, because for you to come from being Stardust, <laughs> yeah. which I don't know what to even say about that, but to come from Stardust, to reinvent yourself in the Indies, become Ring of Honor champion, become an NWA heavyweight champion, creating the company that we love, AEW. Yeah. Right. Becoming TNT champion there. Never been in the world championship there. The company you made. Coming back home and still and losing last year. Like your journey is like 
I will exactly. give you your clap, sir. Yeah, exactly. Because you deserve it. Yeah. But do I, am I happy? Fuck no. <laughs> I will forever be a Tribal Chief fan. I don't know where Roman goes from here. I'm not going to talk about the match. I'm going to let them talk about the match. Because I'm grumpy. But this is why I brought this. Because I will never acknowledge Cody. I acknowledge him with my voice. But you will not get a belt acknowledgement, sir. Whoa. Whoa. And that is my rant. All right. Jeez. So we need to talk about the match yeah. for a couple of minutes. That's why I said it you was, two can go It was a good line. match. I mean, he, Cody match. Rhodes goes hard every time. He's always been top performer. And you're getting the best of Roman Reigns. He's got three or four moves. I think he did three and a half yeah. wrestling moves Talk this match. Him, we were he did wrestle more than There was he some ever does. wrestling yeah. involved, and that's good to see that he could do it makes that. Makes a lot of noise. Um, as everyone expected, there'd be some outside interference in this match. It started with the Usos. Yeah, Jimmy and, came uh, out and yeah. super kicked yeah. Cody. Super kicked Cody, and then Jay came out for his brother. Speared him off yeah. the ramp through a table. Yeah, they went harder. Uh, last night than they did in their own match. Which is good which to is see, right? Maybe sad. they saw it, maybe they saw a review and they're like, We gotta go harder tonight, boys. Yeah. yeah. So actually they actually look like yeah. we're trying to whoop each yeah. other's yeah. ass. Exactly. They, so they went a little yeah. harder because we gave them a little, you know, go harder, boys. A little criticism. But uh, <laughs> they came out and then at some point John Cena comes out. No, the rock comes out. So. Which you knew the rock was coming. Rock comes out, starts... He gets the big uh, pop. Yeah, gets his pop. Five minute fucking entrance still. Yeah, still gets to, He comes in and lays a bit of the smackdown. And, and then John Cena comes out. It's like, what's going on here? Everything's just happening. Everything and the face-off, I will say, that was cool to see. Like, it oh, gave yeah. me that nostalgia from 2011 Cena. when they were like... Mm -hmm. When they had that feud going... And then, I don't think anyone saw this coming, but the lights go out. And you hear and the gong. Yeah, the dead man's coming for his WrestleMania. He gets his WrestleMania moment. It's good to see. He comes out dressed out like badass, just whatever. Yeah. Uh, Mark Calloway would be wearing right now. He was pretty much came in that rig, and that's okay. We all yeah. He doesn't need to wear doesn't need to come out and, yeah. hat and all that. He's man. a legend. He can do what he wants, and he came in. Choke slam, laid someone out, gone, disappeared. It was cool to see it. Like, that's fun when they do things like that. It's yeah. like he is such a legend, such a character. He can come in and go just like that, and no one's even gonna ask any questions. That's just yeah. how that works. Yeah. Yeah. So it was cool. That's that was a whole lot of mess at the end of the match, which that was fun to see because I don't think anyone saw that really coming. So that adds to the match and. I will. I will talk about the ending just because yeah. I found that was my most. As a wrestling fan and like knowing the long term storytelling that I realized was going on, I'll talk about it. So, <laughs> the mat that the match happens. The Shield music first it hits, oh, and uh, Seth yeah. Rollins comes out. But I will say we were all sitting there thinking, "Holy shit, is Mox coming out?" Yeah, because it was just one of those things. Like we didn't expect it to be Rollins and it was Rollins and he came out and immediately got just dropped just Superman dropped. plunge and I thought that him coming out was a waste of time yeah, but after re-watching the match I realized the whole psychology and I'm gonna explain this to you yeah. Seth Rollins when he was with the shield he was the one that broke up the band yeah. He put that chair into the back of Roman. So the psychology of him coming out, Roman has always shown that he's not the best of keeping his composure. Hearing that shield music and seeing Seth in that outfit, it was a distraction. And how I noticed, remember when they were both down, uh, Roman and Cody, and they were both crawling to the chair Roman got to the chair first. Yeah. Roman had the opportunity to do what then? Hit Cody, right? But did he? Mm -hmm. No. He hit Seth. And then mm -hmm. hitting Seth, he, he cost himself the match because he gave Cody enough time to recover, yeah. which he did. Hit Roman with three nice crossroads. One, two. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. And your new, new undisputed 
Universal Heavyweight Champion. Even the, ex- the American the Nightmare, emotional. Cody Rhodes. The announcer got emotional. And that was what I was going to say. The announcer, she was like breaking down in tears. And like, she actually was crying. They showed the clip on Instagram for those who yeah, want to look it today. up. And like, Michael Cole was emotional. Everyone around the ring was crying. I was surprised the man wasn't crying himself, but I think he was just that yeah. happy. Cody like, was crying. He's always crying. I mean, yeah, you know. But, like, it was one of those moments where, like, he got the hero's welcome. Everybody came to the ring. Uh, like, Jay Uso, friggin' LA Knight, uh, Rollins, Punk, they all came to congratulate him. Yeah. His family was in the ring. And he got to have that moment with his mom where he gave her the belt which is obviously something he wanted to do to his dad and yeah yeah we're in the new era ladies and gentlemen your tribal chief is no longer the head of the table dustin was there he was just in the back oh yeah I'm sure he was oh yeah sure and was. even ricky starks they showed uh there was a fan p- who caught a picture yeah. of him celebrating so ricky, ricky was, was there bombed. too oh it's okay to have your friends back doesn't matter oh, yeah. they work or your brother for that matter it's, yeah it doesn't mean that they work there it's just yeah, it's, they're just they're just there to support and like, that's good he finally got to have that moment he put in the work did the time yeah yeah i don't think anyone i mean He's, he's gonna miss Roman. I don't think many yeah, other people are. Like, it's I just miss been. Roman. It's gonna be tough, WWE. It's been too long. It was good. They needed this fresh start, whether it be Cody Rhodes or somebody else. It had to be. But it had to be up. done. And yeah. I admitted it last video, and I'm not stupid. I know wrestling enough to understand that you can want something, but then there's knowing something. Mm. And I knew. What's best for business is Cody Rhodes. Congratulations, <laughs> sir. You Cody won. Rhodes. Let's see what this new era is like. I have faith in you. I'm not just saying that I do, but at the same time, I will always acknowledge my tribal chief. And you may not be the champion, but every video going forward, at some point, I will point my finger and say I acknowledge you. Thank you for your services this past few years. Thank you for bringing wrestling to where it is now. Because honestly, people may not admit it, but I truly believe that you helped influence AEW and a lot of the things they did too. So, Well, they're technically winning. So WWE, and that's what WWE I mean. He took one of the best guys from all elite. Now look at it. And that's what he I mean. Took you, took, you, took, you took the guy that should have been the golden boy in AEW, yeah. made him the golden boy in WWE. So that's what I'm saying. And that's my point. The fact that you made a title, made They're the title that big that Cody wanted to come back to win it. They're threatened by him. And that's, that's why I'm saying I acknowledge you. I will yeah. always give you your flowers. And maybe we'll have a bigger belt next segment, but. I will have we'll a bigger see. belt, but we'll I will see. never raise it, and I will not say that I have it for Cody. It's I will have my them, folks. It'll go on. It'll we'll come around. Yeah, but He's I sour. will give Cody his chance. I'm not stubborn, He's but sour. I mean, it just happened yesterday. So what do you expect from me? I'm not about to sit here and be like, "Oh, look, Cody, fuck Cody." Come see, on. He's upset. See you guys. No one. You know what? Roman, you had your time. Hey. Cody, now's your time. This is it. That's it. That's our WrestleMania recap. Exactly. Hey, it's been a good recap. Yeah. But again, like, subscribe, and even leave a comment because I want to see especially some people, the comments. I want to see yeah. some people that are kind of uh, maybe Bruce Shane's back here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, where, are you where guys are upset my, that Roman Reigns is where are my bloodline? Are you worried yeah. about maybe not seeing are you him with for a me? Bit? We're like or we're we not gonna miss him. him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. he's taking over and he's got the reins and we're doing just fine. Yeah, because I don't know about you when that guy came out with that skull mask on. I mean, that guy right there is serious. serious. Oh, no, right I there. can tell you he's serious. Man. He's got a neck tattoo. Yeah. That oh, means yeah, you get something right serious. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's he's better than just a whole shoulder Never working a, a regular job yeah. again. He's, Anybody can get uh, a neck tattoo. That's when, that's when you know you're a pro wrestler. Yeah, he's committed. Because yeah. can't he's serious. That covered up. But yes, be. this is your boys yeah. uh, from the Uptown Down. That's it. <laughs> one Producers Week Angel this Podcast. You already know. Stay up. We will have your next episode. Take your vitamins, kids. Stay in school. Stay in school. Drugs are bad, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.